Hello and welcome to this new video. In this video I wanted to show you how you can do a full system backup in Windows 11 using Minitool Shadow Maker. So a full backup means we do an image of our whole system drive containing all our data, all our programs and the Windows system. So we will be able to restore certain files as well as a complete system. And we will do that with the free tool, mini tool, Shadow Maker free. There's also a pro version. However, all the base functionality for doing a backup is in the free download available. So you don't have to pay for the software unless you want to do, uh, want to use, well, certain features that only the professional version offers. Uh, if you do a compare of the versions, uh, as you can see, there are, for example, certain encryption functions uh, which the pro version offers however all the basic functionality is available in the free version and that's why i have chosen this software it's easy to use and also free okay let's get started well uh, i've already downloaded installed the software and all we need to do is plug in a usb drive to your computer and then start the software and then you have to click on backup And here you have a very simple interface. You select the source, which should be back up on the left-hand side and the destination or USB drive on the right-hand side. So what we're gonna do is save or back up our C drive, not OneDrive, uh, our local system drive to our backup media or USB drive here. And well, uh, we select the source here most of the time The C partition is already selected here, but we can have a look. We can back up certain fo files and folders, or we can back up the entire disk, which I recommend because we have everything in there. Okay, let's select disk and partitions, and then just select all the partitions of the drive so that everything gets back up. The most important part is the C partition, our C drive, which contains Windows data and programs. Okay, hit OK, and then we select our destination folder. Uh, if there's a USB drive connected, well, it's most likely already selected here, but you can change it to any drive you want here as well, and you can create folders, whatever you fancy. Okay, we go with E backup data. It's good enough for us now, and then just hit backup now. Hit yes, and well, then the backup is created. And basically, that's all there is to it. Now the backup is created. In the background, you can work with your computer, no problem. This will take some time, depending on the speed of your USB drive and also of the amount of data you want to backup. But as you can see, a complete system backup is only a few clicks in the software, so it's very easy, so you don't have any excuse for not having a backup of your system. Okay, we will wait now and then we will have a look how the backup looks. Okay, the backup is now finished. So let's have a look to our USB drive. And as you can see now, um, the space here is used. And if we have a look into our backup folder, there's this folder here with this ID. This is basically a random ID, which is generated for each backup task in the software. So in here, we will find our image backup here. This is the MPI file here. And if you want to do the backup again, you should do that in a regular time interval, maybe each day or week, depending on how important your data is. You can just go to manage in the future, connect your USB drive and hit the backup now button, which will run the backup again with the same settings. So you don't have to create a backup task every time you use the software and you are also able to Well, uh, create a schedule here for automatic backups. So you can, uh, not, uh, for example, uh, configure a daily backup at a certain time or every hour or weekly or monthly. Not all backup types are available. Some are only um, available in the pro version, but the basic schedule settings are available here. So you can do that as well. Okay, now we have the backup, how we do a restore. Uh, the complete system restore I will show in a future video. However, if you have lost uh, some files from the backup or you want to restore files from the backup, um, you can easily uh, select here in the manage tab, uh, go to the menu, then select the mount 
option here and then you can select uh, the backup date so if you have multiple backups already done there will be a list of available backup with date and time so just select the backup version and hit the next button then we have to select which drive or partition we want to mount uh, most of the time it should be the c partition here because it contains all our data and programs uh, then we have to hit the finish button and once this is done we can go to the explorer and if you click on this pc there should be a new drive available here which is our backup drive our image and we can go in there we will find all our program all our files in there and then we can go to the users and for example restore documents or whatever by just copy those files from the image or the mounted drive here to any location we want and well basically that's it that's mini tool shadow maker free which is a very handy application for doing a full system backup and we have seen it's very easy to create a backup of your system of your computer drive just select backup source destination click start and on then all your files are stored to a disk so as i mentioned before there's no excuse for not having a backup and the software is free well okay that's it goodbye